Hey guys, welcome to That Game Show, the show that talks about all the stuff in the nerd world and all the stuff in between. I am your host, Chase Bunker, alongside the half-Asian sensation, Curtis Co. Hello. The man that needs one name to describe him, it's Murph Murphy. How's it going, guys? And player four today, sorry, you got downgraded. Son- yeah, I did. Murph, I was happy for a moment. <laughs> it's Daniel Clegg. Play three in your absence. It's all right. By my, the way, my ultimate to goal, help- Chase, is both of these guys will be gone. And I'll be player I'll be two. Player two. Ooh. And then one day you won't be here. One you day, why? But one day you won't be here. And we I could just make. That. We could just. Are you make... are you threatening to kill the host of the show? You... Is no, that of course right? not. Why would you say that? We could just make you player one, like make him player one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just give it to me. That's no fun. Hold on. Oh. By the way, to, to help settle it. this debate, what would you say your game of the year would be, Murph? Out of Dragon Ooh. Age, Hearthstone, and Wolf Among Us. Well, I didn't play Wolf Among Us, and it's on my iPad, so that's out. Uh, I'm going to go with Dragon Age Ooh, of those three. What would you put number two? Would it be Hearthstone, or would it be... Well, I haven't played Wolf Among Us. So... <laughs> I haven't played Dragon Age. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'd, I'd have to put Hearthstone. I heard, so from by reputation, I hear that Wolf Among Us starts really strong and then finishes weak. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Hearthstone. Mm. I think we'd have a tie, then. Oh, did I tie it up? Yeah, I, I might have. So. I, I, didn't want, I didn't want Hearthstone to be Game of the Year. I wanted <laughs> well, Wolf Among Us to have a chance. I don't. See, well, the issue. Go ahead, Murph. I was going to say, my games of the year, I think, were Destiny and Dark Souls 2. And Dark Souls 2, right. Yeah. Which, you weren't way, here. If you, if you missed last, pod, uh, last episode of that game show podcast on Podcast Garden or on iTunes, um, Murph was absent, and he put Destiny, which is a game that you made fun of at one point. But you still somehow put it on your list, so I kind of want to hear, I want to hear your reasoning behind this. This this was painful, and I mean it's Dark Souls two for like overall winner. Like yeah, sorry yeah, but so in in the non Dark Souls category, uh, <laughs> like I'm still playing it. It's it's the best seven out of ten I've ever played. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. That, that's. <laughs> Like, so okay, here here's a quick question. Do you think Destiny is better than Dra- Dragon Age? Honestly, just in all in honesty, like mm, here here I'll put it this way: I've had the choice when like it's time for me to game. Literally, the dark it's I've got the Destiny disc and I've got the Dragon Age disc, and I haven't beaten either. And I've put in the Destiny disc more often than I put in the Dragon Age disc. Okay. Well, that's mm. interesting. All right, so out of these, what would you make it your top three? Dragon Age, Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, Shadow of Mordor, Hearthstone, Dark Souls 2, Destiny, Wolf Among Us. I think uh, Dark Souls 2... I don't... Shadow... In, in, no, in no, no order, I would say Dark Souls 2, Destiny, and Shadows of Mordor. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You would Shadows really of Mordor. screwed up our list. Yeah, so Shadows of Mordor was not a good story. Yeah. Gameplay was fantastic. Kind of the same thing with Destiny. Shit story. Fantastic gameplay. Mm. Oh, I would have completely after. Yeah, yeah I would have. <laughs> right. And you like Dragon Age for the opposite reasons, right? Yeah, oh, fantastic yeah. Fantastic story and gameplay is pretty solid, but, right. you know. Not it, it picks the, the gameplay in Dragon Age really picks up when you pick out your specialization and then it starts to really pick up how you strategically play and so on and so forth it brings okay. a whole new element of the game in yeah. i was a rogue that could freeze people okay I, mean, I am literally at that point like i've, I've got yeah. my three advisors i just have to gather a billion things what i think yeah. is funny yeah. about all well dragon age inquisition is you know you made an impact in someone's life or someone really knows you well when they play dragon age and go yeah Chase isn't playing this. <laughs> because well, my, my friend Kelly got it. She's got an Xbox One and she just got Dragon Age. She's been playing it nonstop. Mm. And then she literally like plays the game and apparently a giant spider comes out and apparently he has like eyes on his legs and he's like as tall as a building. I don't know. I'm not going to play it. And oh, she yeah. stops and immediately goes, about. yep, he is definitely not going to play this. Uh... Mm. I said the same thing at a certain boss in uh, Dark Souls 2. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw a gameplay video of that one. All Double right. Trouble. So, 
That, had, that one has two heads. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that one it's a good. two-headed spider. I, I hate my, my life right now. Just I like guess my biggest that. argument against Dark Souls 2 is I just didn't think it was as memorable as the first one. So, yeah, in I my mean, opinion. I think if I'm ranking Dark Souls, I think you got to go Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Demon Souls. Right. I think that's... Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad you mentioned fine. Demon Souls because not many people actually realize that it actually comes from Demon Souls. Mm, it, I think it's a it's a spiritual line. It's not a direct sequel. Yeah, is it, and is then Bloodborne hmm? supposed to be the exact sequel to? No, it's a no, it's again it's, it's a spiritual it's like it's a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're all coming from Kingsfield, which I know from Bonfire Side Chat, a podcast that I am not on, but only mm. guest on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Promoting more stuff there, Murph. Mm-hmm. All right, um, Cole Ross will appear on Dark Knight on <laughs> next week. Who's going to be on Dark Knight? <laughs> Uh, Cole Ross, the one of the hosts of uh, Bonfire Side Chat. Okay, check. Make sure you also check out Murph's po- other podcast, Dork Night. It's actually entertaining. <laughs> High <laughs> praise. <laughs> well, no. What I used to do is I, when I did what the flux, I always would promote. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, wow, I promote it on every episode. Oh, clearly not for everyone. And I oh, always yeah. made a tagline for it, and I'd always altered it every time. And so it was like, oh, it's offensive. It's raunchy. It's clearly not for everyone. Mm. And so I think with yours, I'll promote every episode, but I'll change it up. It's like, hey, listen to Dork Night. It's a podcast. <laughs> There's listen words to Dork in Night. It. People are in it. <laughs> I can't have the head thing going like you're shaking that idea yeah. loose. I'm jarring it loose from the ear, even <laughs> though I have earbuds in. So that's clearly not going to help. <laughs> All right. So, news sucked this week. Um, did anything even happen in the gaming world? Uh, Witcher 3 got pushed back, and they made a really mean yeah. comment mm-hmm. about all the ga- AAA games that have huge they bugs in it. Did. They basically said, yeah, we're going to push it back, and we're not sorry, because we don't want to release shit. They all said, right. we're not going to release right. buggy shit. That's basically yeah. what they said. Pretty nice. much. Destiny had an expansion. It's yeah, okay. how is that? It's, it is profoundly okay. Profoundly, man, you so in line with up on Destiny so much. <laughs> I'm not saying anything the... bad about it. It's right. No, I like how you're so neutral. Okay, yeah, like, is high... not a negative. You have such like a, a great adjective or a positive adjective and profoundly, and then you put it with a neutral. Profoundly and... okay. You're like the like the neutral people on Futurama. It's like if something bad happens, tell my wife I said hello. Like, See, so here, this here's is a the really thing. good example of the uh, the company's hype just like overshadowing what the game is. Because this is a bungee game, mm-hmm. everyone has expectations that are way up here, yeah. right? If this had come from a different developer, profoundly okay would have been just fine. Well, like, here's the point. This is Chris can actually attest this. Cause I said this at Tampa Bay Comic Con. I'm pretty sure I said this in another podcast, in another episode. The reason I was so skeptical about Destiny was the fact that it got so much publicity, so much hype, and everybody was already quick to call it Game of the Year. What was the last game that got this much publicity and already was called Game of the Year? Uh, I've already I forgotten. Know, I know what you're talking about, yeah. but I don't think people were very sure that it was Game of the Year quality. No, I it was it. Was, the answer was Duke Nukem Forever. Oh God! I was reading magazine. <laughs> no, there were magazines that already said this game is going to be Game of the Year. I am I, dead. I think we all That's, knew. I now, think we all knew by the time that it actually came out that it was going to be a steaming be pile crap. of shit. Yeah, I think we didn't want to want it to be. But uh, actually, I have another one. It was probably Alien Colonial Marines. Ooh, yeah. Probably, because they released a demo that was working perfectly. It was beautiful and everything, and everyone's like, "This is going to be awesome. This is going to be pretty close to the game of the year." And then they released the actual game, and it didn't. It was crap. Yeah. I'm I'm worried about Evolve, guys. I actually have heard good things about Evolve. I've heard good things too. I'm worried. I I, I'm worried. I get why you're I should, worried. I should be in beta, so I mean, yeah. we'll see what happens. The, this is big, the one positive the big I see. Alpha. From it. Adam Sessler is helping them promote it. Uh, that's well, he's he's in PR now though, so I mean that means nothing. But it's the Sessler, the Sess. I I, I understand, <laughs> but. My argument would be more along the line of this is Turtle Rock Studios. This is the people who made Left 4 Dead. Yeah. They know how to make multiplayer games. That's all they do. Yeah. And I I have some faith in that studio because they haven't put out a steaming pile of shit yet. I mean, it's it's just it's being marketed so 
hard. Like yeah. and, when I went to PAX East and they have yeah. they got a gigantic like creature uh, sculpture. Like it dominates the entire convention. It's like twenty mm-hmm. feet tall. It's you know and you're like, man, this game must be awesome. Nobody else could have a statue that big. Did you get to play it at all on the floor? No, because I it's you know, to look at the demo was like a four hour line. Oh jeez, yeah. really? Oh wow. Yeah. I mean, next next time the alpha comes out, I'll definitely pop in it if I can and try to play it. I don't know what happened. Like, it was on my Steam, and then it just disappeared. And so. let, let me say, I'm a, if you're going to make – words are important, and, and alpha is not what they released. What they released yeah. was a beta. But you – know, well, never mind. They I'm, said a I'm late done. alpha, right? It was a late alpha. So. And alpha would be like the monster is like a block. It was like yeah. be untextured yeah. and like right. things would break. And I uh, believe they they call it a playable alpha. Is that is that it what they uh, Can we consider Sonic Boom to be an alpha? Considering <laughs> all the glitches that they have. No <laughs> the pile of garbage. Yeah, so you, sorry, bad, I. Bad I oh no, Curtis! You, you might as well just say it. Everybody else has been dropping s bombs all day. Oh, so. Stevie pile of shit. Yeah. 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 This might as well be called the s bomb episode. S bomb episode. Look, dude. I'm not even I, gonna bother edit this because this is like you know what, this is this is too anyway. much editing. Back in the '90s, I picked Nintendo and then on the console wars, and you know Sega has kind of never recovered. And I'm I'm glad about the side that I picked. Yeah, that's yeah. A even good though sign. I did own a Dreamcast. Oh, Dreamcast was fun. I don't there were some good said. games on that Dreamcast. Oh, Power I don't, Stone, I don't. Sonic Adventure, Jet Grind they Radio. Just, they just needed a better controller. That's all it was. They need well. They need yeah. a lot. Yes, there's a lot of that things is. about Dreamcast, and I'm not gonna get into it. Well, I mean, this might as well be the episode because nothing else happened. What are we gonna talk about? Bad movies and stuff we expect. Hey guys, huh? what game is gonna get revamped next year? Actually, I there is a lot of a new IP that I am excited for. What are you excited uh, for? Let's see. Uh, well, Bloodborne. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That one, uh, yes. That's what, I mean. That's why I bought a PS4. Um, Bloodborne, and I'm gonna, No Man's Sky. No, yeah, like Uncharted No Man's Sky. Four, um, Which one? Uncharted Four. Um, mm-hmm. I'm definitely excited for No Man. Um, Killing Floor Two. I was definitely excited yes, for that. That one. I got that, I one on that one. Yes. Okay, so I, I know I said I'm excited for n- new IP, but Batman: Arkham Knight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, by the way, can we all three. consider Arkham Origins to be the best Christmas game ever? No. In the same no. way that Die Hard's one of the best Christmas movies ever? No. I never I, actually I, played Origins. I enjoyed Origins, I but I didn't enjoy it enough to say that's the best Christmas game. Because I, I believe that... Um, doesn't it like Hitman 2 or Hitman Absolution take place like during the Christmas time? Maybe Absolution, not Silent Assassin. One of them does, and I thought that one did a better job of it than... In personal opinion, but... Yeah. I just like all the bells. Like you hear, like they have like a really like a dark esque sound to like Christmas songs. I'm like this is cool. Good job, Batman. <laughs> yeah, Arkham so, Knight looks great. It does. No man, I mean, guy. It can just be another Arkham game, and I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. Like, sure. eh. but with the Batmobile. Granted, yes. I don't know much about. I don't know much about this. I just don't want it to be. Hold, by the way, everybody here has played Arkham City, correct? Yes. Mm. Yes. Everybody's beaten Arkham City, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. Be okay. Coming coming up. Be, I'm gonna, okay. Coming up. So spoilers coming up. If you have not played Arkham City, first off, turn off this podcast. Go pick up Arkham City, beat it, and then restart where you're at right now. <laughs> Welcome back, person who just beat Arkham City. So, that was I don't want it to be Joker. I just yeah. don't want it to be Joker anymore. We've had Ooh, three. It can't. Right. Well, it can't. It can't. Well, no, but no, I can't. hold on. Really it's a can. comic book. It can be. It, yes. Well, the <laughs> obvious. The obvious one is. I mean, because this character was so tied into the second. Again, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Um, Ra's al Ghul was in it. Yeah. I mean, honest. Yeah. Obvious thing would be Lazarus Pit. You know. Right. Something like that. I, I think he faked it. You know. Oh yeah. Like. Eh, not- oh, like very clearly, he faked it. Yeah, Joker's not going to be yeah, dead. We'll see. I, 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 Joker's I, not dead. I, I actually would not be surprised if, you know, they have this Arkham Knight who's kind of his arch nemesis in the game, I believe. Or one of his nemesis in the game. 
Uh, I would not be surprised if that was uh, just a retooling of Red Hood or something like that. Yeah, I mean, mm. there's, like, just recently... Uh, or Zazel. Oh, yeah. yeah. PlayStation Plus just gave, turned, gave out Injustice Gods of, Among Us or something. It's so good. It's, yeah, it's a good fighter. I, like, I don't play fighting games. I enjoyed it because, you know, it was a story. And I've heard, mm-hmm. I've seen that story a million times before. But, you know, I enjoy the good... Superman turns evil story because you know what it's it's an American mythology America, America. well I, I thought they it had a really good a relatively good story for a fighting game too it was kind oh, of oh yeah like yeah yes, oh, you mean you mean it had a story for a fighting well game. no it was well, like to be it, fair it was commented too but it was yeah <laughs> but this one was like you're playing certain characters for certain reasons and certain like what I liked about it is certain bad guys were good guys in this alternate universe and so on and so forth. And I thought that was a really neat kind of um yeah. uh, just a spin up on it. And they you know, they started yeah. a comic yeah. after and it. And I well. thought it was really cool as well. Like this is once again very little thing. I liked that Stephen Amel was Green Arrow. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. good. So we're embracing that he is going to be yeah. Green Arrow just like the same way we should we're embracing. Was he really? Was he the voice? Yeah, he Green was the Arrow? voice. Holy sh- crud, that's You might awesome. as well say it. I'm not going to censor this episode. Yeah, I know. I, I was so just if you're actually listening with your kids at home, hey, your kid just discovered the S word today as if he's never heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually had a really interesting one to bring up. Uh, they're bringing back Star Wars Battlefront, and I thought that looked pretty yes, good. It, it makes me like happy. Not going to be next year, though. Yeah, it's, it's probably – we haven't seen any gameplay yet. So I had Evolve on here, which we already talked about. Um, no Witcher Man's 3. Guy. No Man's Witcher Sky. 3 no looks, yeah, no looks pretty amazing. I'm, I'm, so if I can go indie for, for a moment. Uh, have you guys heard of Super Hot? No. 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 Okay. So Super Hot was the product of a uh, the seven-day first-person shooter game jam. Oh, it yes. Is a, oh, I, I know this one. Okay. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That is for those who don't know. Right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What? Me. Explain oh. what what that is for those. Oh, who so don't a know. game jam is uh, you go and you work on a game for a, like a super limited amount of time. In this case, everyone builds a first person shooter in seven days. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like super. A convention. Yeah, it's like a con- right. well, you can do it offline. I've done one actually myself. It's a lot of fun. Oh, that's cool. Um, Great job. Yeah. Uh, so super hot is a first person shooter where Time only, I guess, happens if you are moving or shooting. So as soon as you just stop, everything freezes and you, like, you can see the bullets. Nobody else moves. So you can, you can literally dodge bullets because you're like, okay, I can see the bullets over there. I can see the bullets going over there. And it's going to come this way. So I just need to move that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that, and so they they got their you know the the game jam they got like a kind of demo out, which is what game jams are for. It's just for make a concept. So they said, oh well, we could probably kickstart this and make a real game, mm-hmm. and that is coming out in 2015. That's exciting. I remember seeing the gameplay videos of that. Yeah, I, I didn't so. recognize the name, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I believe also Amplitude cool will be coming out in 2015. Am I right, Curtis? What's they haven't one? put out a, a time yet on that one, I don't think. I think they were hoping for 2015, but I have not heard anything is, on it. Is that a, like, Res, the music game where you're a ship? Uh, it's, no, I think it's, no, it's not, I don't think uh, Harmonix did Res. It's the, um, it's from Harmonix, who made the game Frequency, and then they made the sequel Amplitude. And then they eventually just did the first two Guitar Heroes and then switched over to Rock Band. And so okay. they do all these music-based games. So what they're doing is they wanted to recreate, not necessarily recreate, they wanted to make a new Amplitude because it had such a cult following. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. Okay. It's 2015. Yes. 2015 uh, I am right. excited okay. for that. Cool, cool. And so it's a That's really cool. interesting music game. Um, Curtis and I played that for, mm-hmm. we would play it for hours on end. It was a great soundtrack. It was really unique. You had like you played like a little ship that had like each lane had like three things, and, like three little notes, and you had to hit all of them. Like one would be a guitar track, one would be a vocal track. You had to like, like okay. move all around. It was really cool and it was really unique. I really liked it. So I'm ex- I'm hoping that this one's gonna be really good. All right, I can I'm dig it. All right, good. Dig it on the uh, dig it. I got a one for the indie one. Um, I don't know if you ever got any of you played the original Syndicate. 
way back in the day. It was kind of a t- was a turn-based game. Yeah. Uh, they're coming out with a spiritual successor called Satellite Rain. It's looking very nice. Um, uh-huh. Lots of really interesting things, how you can basically crash a power grid or something before your mission and then go in, such like that. It's going to be pretty cool. I feel like Supergiant has a game coming yeah, out next it's on year. Steam. And it, um, it's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like they're, uh, they announced a game. Super giant. Yeah, the people that did Bastion and oh. Transistor, which Bastion, by the way, great. Get play that game. You better play <laughs> Bastion. Uh, I own it. Super... I haven't touched it yet. Oh though. my gosh, Clegg, it is. I, I can never be mad at Murph, to an extent, <laughs> because he gave me Bastion and. Because he gave you Bastion. <laughs> it was so much fun. I love it. Like I, so, I think that might be on, list up that might be on my top ten games of all time. It so might I be. do. Oh, really? I've been meaning wow. to ask: Have you played Transistor yet? I haven't. Yeah, Luckily, that's, that's Steam on my sales list. coming up, so I'm gonna try to do that. Do I have? So I've got a PS4, or? and I really want to play it yeah. on PS4 because I hear uh, your sword talks to you in the game. Yeah. And on PS4, there's a speaker in the controller. Mm-hmm. And ah, the, the controller sorry. talks to you. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. As a, so I'm, you know, it, it's a gimmick and whatever, but... It's a cool uh, gimmick. Yeah, that's that's a cool that's a gimmick. gimmick. Come on. Is, it yeah. is a gimmick. They did that in Twilight Princess on the Wii. Mm. Midna would talk to you, and it was really annoying back then. Uh. So I'm just telling you, you might come to hate your sword like I came to hate Midna when she did that <laughs> stupid-ass laugh through okay. the controller in your hands. So... <laughs> Might not be as cool as you're thinking. I don't know. Like I don't certain know. gimmicks, I just really like. I, you know, I think I really like. I'm a sucker for peripherals. Like the Guitar Hero peripheral was awesome. Same with like the drum set, and I never got to try Steel Battalion, but I think that was like that might have been like, the overload of peripherals. I have I have tried yeah. Steel Battalion. How is it? It's terrible. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah, you talking about the original ones? Or are you talking about the the Xbox? The one, Xbox or One. Like... Right, like yeah. that massive controller. Oh, the massive controller. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so at PAX uh, East, just this is coming to be in that episode. Uh, there was a room dedicated to Steel Battalion where they had like sixteen or thirty of them, like all linked together. Cool. And the guy was like, "All right, I'm going to teach you how to play, how to start your mech. Uh, this will probably take about ten minutes." Whoa! And, what? Okay. No, no lie. Me. There is a there's a startup sequence that you have to go through and it like to do the startup sequence probably takes mm, like 30 seconds of real time. And if you don't know it, it takes about like five minutes to explain what you're doing. Oh my It's, oh my it's like, all right, oh my boot your power gosh. core. Now boot your OS. Now, if you didn't boot this in the correct order, your mech will blow up. So <laughs> See, don't push this that... button because you'll rip your arms off if you try and engage the legs before the docking uh, arms disengage. Yeah, that's not fun gameplay to me. That's a little too much like learning a, te- it's a technical like Eve, job. Where it's mm. like, oh, you have to learn this, and it's going to take twenty four hours. Yeah, and then that's real and, time. Yeah. yeah, and and then after all, after you finally get your mech launched, it's kind of just this mediocre me- mech shooter. Like, eh. yeah. Mm. Like All if the there was a... into being as realistic as possible and not into great gameplay. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a simulator through and through and kind of doesn't make any concessions to like fun. I re- I wish yeah. they had another like Mech Warrior game cuz I feel like that might do well now. They did. They made a free to play. Well, besides right. that, that one's like that one to me like I heard that one was okay. It's I never am a fan of games that you die and then you have to wait an hour to play. Mm. Yeah. That's what the new one was like. They do it with da- uh, Daisy, and it's like that's stupid. It's like I, I'm I glad that the, the game is the Daisy super Corner. realistic, but come on now, let's get real. Yeah, you might as well yeah. make Job Simulator, where you go to work from you work a nine to five, you get yelled at by your boss, you have to deal with L.A. traffic or something like that, <laughs> and then have your nagging spouse say, "Hey, why did you leave the toilet seat up or down?" And people would play the crap out of it. They would. Oh. They play Farmville. I mean, it's Second Life, guys. Come on, people make yeah, money off. Yeah, that. yeah, exactly. We should really just like make like a stupid game, almost like Maple Story, or like something like stupid like that, and it would become popular. <laughs> you say stupid, but a lot of people like those kind of games. Yeah. It's yeah. a stupid yeah. concept. 
Farmville you, is a stupid concept. Trust me, as someone, yeah, I have made some stupid games, and they did not become popular. So it clearly yeah. you need a marketing genius like me, and okay. just be like, More and formula. Just blow up everything. <laughs> I'll send you to my itch.io page. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna yeah. like spam all these games. Hey, try this. It's weird, look, but you'll love it. Look, in my in my I made a, a dating sim for my for the game jam. We made a dating sim where you are an astronaut and you date the planet Mars. What? Is Mars yep. a man? You can pick. Men are from Mars. Oh well that's that supposedly. Yeah. I mean and astronauts are kind of gender neutral if that you think is about true. it. That's also true. Well, someone's it's kickstarting a, weird a that game. You can choose the gender of your interests. I, I really like you. What what sex are you actually? Well, I want me to be. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't Mars is kind of a, Mars is a planet, so I mean, technically also gender neutral. But, yeah. So gender neutral versus the gender neutral. Weird. Well, I mean, an astronaut. You know, it's, it's a suit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The fact that we're talking about this is astonishing. Uh, yeah. uh, this is... I thought it was funny. Like someone's making a dating sim right now, or it's being kickstarted. I never saw this because uh, Pro Jared promoted it. They're making a dating sim where you can like date all these popular like YouTube stars, like the Completionist, mm-hmm. Pro Jared, and Continue Show, like all the entire like Normal Boots crew. And it's like someone has time on their hands to make this. It's still not as weird no. as the that game where you can bait date pigeons. Is that right? Oh, it, How to Full Boyfriend. It, yes. yes. Yeah. Need to play that one. Haven't yet. I heard, I heard it's that funny. one. I heard that one gets real weird at a certain point. At a certain <laughs> point. The beginning. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> like it gets. It suddenly gets like super dark, and you like understand why they're all pigeons and some weird crap like that. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's. Yeah, it's probably going to be good. What? Well, are we talking about How to Full Boyfriend? Yeah. All yeah. right. I feel like there's been, like there's other like weird moments in games, but I literally can't think of any. Oh, there's lots. There, there's yeah, lots. Yeah. Like Blaze I mean, Blue, okay. I know has a few good ones. All right. So before we get totally off, uh, whatever. I think the only the thing that I need to mention is the game that I actually backed on Kickstarter that should be coming out this year. Is Mighty Number no. Nine? Yes, that is right. Oh, Mighty yeah. Number no. Nine. I forgot about that. Where, yeah, where have I heard this before? So um, I know this name. Yeah, it the the maker of Mega Man lost the Mega Man IP rights. Oh so said, yes. Screw yes. you guys. I'm just gonna make my own Mega Man with flapjacks and hookers. <laughs> See, for the longest time, I thought that line was with blackjacks and or with flapjacks and hookers. really. Yeah, so I thought he was talking about pancakes. And I was just a little right. weird. That's out. what I just assumed you said. I was like, oh, did okay, he just really mind. butcher that line? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, my number nine, I, it, looks, it looks really yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, it looks like Mega Man. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. Right. It doesn't look so much like Mega Man that he got in trouble and had to change the design because it was like almost identical. I feel yeah, like I read much. that recently. He had that gun instead of uh, his hand being the gun, but I. Think but it was like the same color and the same yeah. aesthetic, and like I mean, it's it is legally distinct, but it, it you can yeah. tell it's Mega Man. Yeah, right, right. And as yeah. someone who yeah, you guys know that I love Mega Man, it's like I'm really excited for this. It'll be good. I hope so. You know, he's pretty good in the new Super Smash. That's good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all I would only play. Is too bad Mega they've. Man. How long has it been since they actually made a Mega Man game? I mean. <laughs> They have the IP. What the heck are they doing with it? I mean, thing? I think the last one was. I know they went. I think they went up to ten. Like they Legends mm. two, maybe. No, because X eight at least came. There was X eight, and then there was this long period of time where like nothing came out, and then I think they did. They tried to recreate the old two D NES ones with Mega Man nine and Mega Man ten. Mm-hmm. I don't know if right. ten came out. I know nine did. But the X saga, the last one was X eight. With Flame Rooster. That is really his name. Flame Rooster. Flame mm. Rooster. Well, that's a new one. I think it's Flame Rooster. Either way, it's you can insinuate what it means. Looks like the last one may oh, have been hot, okay, hot, okay, 2005? Hot. No. Maybe? It's been a while. It has been. 2006, I... there was a game called ZX. Probably a yeah. DS port or something? Yeah, yeah DS game. So I hear there's coming to the virtual console. Yeah, yeah. 
I, it's a shame that that's not. Well, I mean, the thing is, I'm sure like they're popular with people of my age and your age because I'm an old man. Uh, but like the young kids, they don't like they don't like their action platformers. No, it's not don't. a it's not a thing anymore. And it's really unfortunate because I would love to see a third Banjo Kazooie. And don't say, oh hey, nuts and bolts. No, nuts and bolts doesn't count. Even though it's not a two D platformer, it's like the platforming <sighs> genre in general just died. I, there's there's still good Mario games. Super Mario World 3D was really good. That came out right, this year, I think. But there's there's one good platformer, and it's like a Mar- There's one Mario game. Yeah. Yeah. What's another platformer? Sly Cooper. Sonic Boom. That, uh, they came out with that a couple of years ago, didn't they? Sly I Cooper. Yeah, it was Sly, Sly Cooper. But yeah, you're right. There aren't there aren't like a, a lot. decade ago. How many like action platformers came out in a year? A lot. You're right. Yeah. 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 I mean. Uh, I think it's going through a rotation phase where, you know, right now it's the RPGs and the shooters, and then eventually it'll be something else. Yeah. You know? Thankfully, it seems well, like do- zombies, zombies is dying sense. off. Thank God. Yeah. Like, zombies. don't get me wrong. I love Left 4 Dead, but, like, after Left 4 Dead came out, it seemed like everybody wanted to make, like, a zombies mode, and it's like, let- let's not literally beat a horse to death. No pun intended. We say right. this, but we're all, ex- or some of us are excited Super for Killing excited Floor too. Yeah. Not, not zombies. <laughs> Mutants. They are Different. zombies. Different! They are totally zombies. Oh, God. They're zombies with rocket launcher arms. It's, but not, I mean... it's, not, it's not zombies in Last of Us either, right? It's fungus. Exactly. Oh, right. They're okay. infected. They're infected in that game. That's what they call them. Oh, God. You know, it's funny. Like, let's, let's actually flash back. This is a completely unorganized episode. I don't really care. All right. This is a, let's flash back. Last year... We had such a huge, like a tight race for Game of the Year when we had Last of Us, we had um, Bioshock Infinite, you had Grand Theft Auto Five, like those. Gone home. Gone. <laughs> I, I thought that one was pretty good. You liked Gone Home. I liked Gone Home, but I didn't love Gone Home. See, yeah. I thought it was an interesting idea. I liked how, I liked how they told the story, but I thought everything else was like this is just a teenage angst story. Yeah. I'm, uh, all right. I'm not getting into it because, I, yeah, I'm just going to say I liked it. That's good. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. <laughs> no, like, because uh, the reason I pl- I bought it was because you liked it. I'm like, okay, maybe I might like this. I'm like, see, it's okay. <sighs> Man, never mind. Brothers. I would say. What about brothers? Say. I never played brothers. Oh, do you have a brother? No, I, well, I have Curtis, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's close. It's close That's enough. adorable. We're just two different races. A little bit. That's okay. From another mother, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes. It's really the father that was the issue. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's. That, okay. Never mind. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. We're about, not like, going to get in. Let that part out. Yeah. No, we're going to keep it in. We're going to make this awkward moment last. This is an episode I'm oh, not going right. to care about editing because there's too many swearing or too much swearing, and I'm just like, you know what? Nothing's happening. Let's just ride it out. Let's just try it out and see. Mm-hmm. But last year, you had such a tight game of the year race, and I feel like this year, we just were like, we were just a little bit disappointed. It, it was kind of the year of noble failures. Yeah. I don't I don't know about that. I mean, you do have the, the Dark, Souls to, Dark Souls 2. I can speak really well today. Um, and some of those other games, I think those are the same quality then as some of the games from last year. I mean, Last of Us was a very good game. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It was a great, very nor- narratively... You're right. Uh, strong, but also the gameplay was really strong, and I don't know if there's a game that quite is on that level this year, but, you know, I, I don't see why we can't compare anything like uh, Bioshock Infinite to something like Dark Souls 2, or... You didn't like or Infinite? even... I thought it was a decent game. I didn't think it was, you know, I don't think it's as yeah. good as Last of Us, but I Infinite, thought it was... Infinite got worse the more time I spent away from it, and... It kind of just, like, the more I actually thought about it, it just got worse and worse. Really? Yeah. Well, I loved Infinite. Like, what did you not like about it? it Wait, yeah. hold on. Pause. Clegg, have you, you haven't beaten Infinite. I have not, but at this point, I don't think I'm going to, so don't worry it, about it. Okay. I'm, I'm, it, it really doesn't have anything to do with spoil. Well. Do I need like, to put it, a spoiler warning? No, I mean, like, the, the theme is extremism is bad, and that is, like, the, the most... South Park, middle of the road. Okay, thing. I'll give you that one. Like, I'll give you that. Of course, extremism is duh. Like, it doesn't. 
it doesn't say anything. The choices you make, they try and make it seem like they matter, but then it's kind of really overtly obvious that any choice that you actually make doesn't matter. Yeah. Mass Effect like, 3. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll fight you on that one, but I, I think I actually I just know what let's happens. let's back up on the Mass Effect Three thing. I think the way to look at that is your decisions you made prior to Mass Effect Three really made a difference. However, at the end of the day, maybe the decision didn't make that huge of a difference. Right, and yeah, and um, there was a patch for that, and actually, your decisions did make a difference. It's just by then the damage was done. Yeah, but I already played it. Yeah. yeah. I went back and I looked at the new, or I YouTube the new ending and like there's there's you know your choices do make or have a do have an impact, yeah. but yeah, well, well the Mass Effect Four is coming out just not next year. Not with Shepard though, right? They already yeah, said fine. it's going to be. I think it's his ship. His ship has sailed at this point. I I, I think that's okay. Yeah. I think you can you yeah. can kill. I think Shepard Shepard had a story. Yeah, it's, it's here. It is. Now, this is an interesting universe. Let's let's Brand do some more. Bit. Yeah. Can we, can we just be obvious here? Everyone just wants a game where you can play as Garrus and just like throw out all the other characters. <laughs> I, I I just want I like I genuinely enjoyed the Mass Effect gameplay. Like, I did too. I never so, played it. I, it's a game I've always it, wanted to get into. The first one I think these days is very hard to play. I think the second one is still yeah. phenomenal. Hmm. I think the second one is easily on my top five games I've ever played. Really? I, I think, yeah, I think three is a little worse in terms of gameplay, but yeah, it has. Think, some, it's close though. It, I think the gameplay is not as good, but the, um, you know, I did like the Connect support on three. I actually used the Connect support, oh. and it was actually really good. PlayStation so, kid. I was yelling at my teammates, and they were going where I was telling them. Oh, which was- Cool thing. <laughs> that sounds that does sound awesome. Okay, that does so. sound cool. I'll give you that one. All right. So All right. with that, game time. Murph, you have a special game for us today. I do. This comes from Jared A. Sorensen. He is a indie RPG developer and uh, one of my favorites, actually. You can check out his website at memento-mori.com, and we are going to play. Well, it's going to be backwards, but Action Castle. Action Castle. Action Castle. This is a parsley game. For those of you who are young enough and remember the the game or the movie Big, you remember Tom Hanks is like playing a video game where he's typing in things and then the computer does stuff. It's like Zork if you're even older. So we're just going to get into this. <laughs> All right. So what we're so, going to do is we're going to go around. We're going to stay. We're going to say phrases and we'll go. We'll do this for about maybe five ten minutes. Yeah, we'll see how far we yeah. can get. <clears throat> Welcome to Action Castle. Action Castle! You are standing in a small cottage. There is a fishing pole here. Curtis. Who's going first? Oh, pick uh, up okay, the fishing so I'm gonna pole. Do Curtis, Chase, and Daniel, because that's uh, uh, the order you're in Skype. Okay. On my gotcha. Screen. Awesome. Right, pick up go. the fishing pole. You have a fishing pole. Yes. I want to look in the mirror. I want to see how good I look before I go on this quest. There is no mirror here. There, it's a cottage. There has to be a mirror. I mean, what place does the, does not have a mirror? Daniel! How do you not have a mirror computer. anywhere? You can't argue with the computer, man. Um, um, Input virus. Go, go through the door. Uh, all right. Garden path. You are standing on a lush garden path. There is a single red rose here. The cottage... There, There is a cottage here. Exits are north, south, in. Pick up rose. You have a rose. It smells beautiful. Yes. Great. Let's see if we can north or south. Heads is north. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> dropped it again. I don't know where it is. Pick a hand. Right. Um, look at my watch. I want to know what time it is. You do not have a watch. Ha, good. Pass it on to you, Clegg. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, head south. Uh, da, da, da. all right. Sorry, there's a map. Oh. Okay. Fancy. Fishing pond. You are at the edge of a small fishing pond. Pond. Yes, you know Exits do. are north. Um. Hmm. Since this is a text adventure, um. Look for bait. Because uh, okay. I mean, uh, are, we, are we going on the assumption that this fishing rod is baited? 
I don't know. Did you want to look rod? Yeah. <laughs> look rod. Look rod. The, uh, yeah. So the want. it is a fishing fi- uh, it is a simple fishing pole with a worm on it. Da- oh, chase? that's bait. We're good. Go fishing. Um, you plop your fi- or your fishing pole into the pond. In a few moments, a fish comes out of it on your pole. Yeah, it does. You now have a fish. Da 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 da. Um, uh, put fish <laughs> in pocket. We already have it. The fish is already in your pocket. Oh, like, don't worry about it. Way to waste a turd, Clegg. I didn't know. Uh, is there like a look around feature? Yeah. Have... So look, um, you are in a you are in a you are at a small fishing pond. Pond exits are north. Okay. Okay. So it just tells us where we are. Chase. Oh, now let's go north. You are standing in a lush garden path. There is a si- well. There was a single red rose here. There is a cottage here. Exits Perfect. are north, south, and in. The other one, Chase. The other one. He can't. No, he, he already went. It is your oh, turn. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Uh, north. <laughs> we'll continue north. Continue north. All right. You are walking on a long... <clears throat> you are walking along a winding path. There is a tall tree here. Exits are south, east, and up. Oh. Up. Oh. Ooh. Uh, top of the tall tree. You are on top of a tall tree. There is a stout dead branch here. I don't know what I want to do with that dead branch. You want to hit someone with that dead branch. I'll take off dead branch. Yes. You break off the branch, but fall down from the tree. Ouch, that hurt. You have a branch. Yay! (laughs) Da-da-da-da! Like you are on a wandering path. Exits are uh, east-south. Yeah, we're going to walk east. All right, so... You are... St- drawbridge. You are standing on one side of a drawbridge, leading to Action Castle. There's Action a Castle! <laughs> There's a mean troll here. Exits are west and east, which is blocked by the troll. East, which is blocked by the troll. Talk to troll. The troll says, Ah, I'm hungry. Give Troll the fish. Oh, that's clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. The Troll messily gobbles up the fish and jumps off of the bridge. I should have just taught him how to fish. I could have fed him for nice. a lifetime. Ah, 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 da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Have a good night, guys. Walk over bridge. Uh, you are courtyard. You are in the courtyard of Action Castle. Action Castle, Castle, Castle. There is a guard here blocking your path east. Exits are west, east, blocked by the guard, up and down. Talk to guard. The guard grunts. He has a short sword and a helmet. So he doesn't have a shield. He does have a shield, or he does not. I just said, yeah. I said, I, I am. The computer nodded and in, in, in affirmatively. He does not have a shield. I almost think about just like do a body shot on him with that dead branch. It's up to you. Mm. Curtis, don't give me that look. Should I do it? Do it. That's your Here call. Come doing it. Your... Body shot with the branch. The the guard does not want to drink with you. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think that was his intent. That's it! I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! No! <laughs> Daniel Clegg, you are now player this game one. sucks! <laughs> no, actually, you, you knocked the guard out. He's, he's knocked out. Okay. Um, so, proceed east. Uh, east. Alright, what happened? What'd I no. miss? You, you actually knocked him out. You got him. Okay, good. I was about to say, he's like, if I'm going drinking... You stand oh, inside oh, the great no. feasting hall. Can I hall. undo? Can I control Z? Oh, wait, oh, wait. so you went east. So, okay, so Curtis, Damn. you are standing in the great feasting hall. There is a strange candle here. Exits are west and east. Uh, west. I know, I was like, what are you doing? You are in the courtyard of Action Castle. There is a knocked out guard here. 
Grab sword. Exits are west, east, up, down. Grab sword. And actually, can I loot? Like, take everything? Loot uh, body. Loot, like, loot body, take his armor and his sword. The, the sword is too heavy because you are weak. That's oh, crap. I work oh. out. He has a helmet, though. He has a helmet. Then, uh, take helmet. Well, it, it would be, but it's Clegg's turn. Take helmet. Uh, the helmet is too heavy because you are weak. <laughs> Curtis, say go to gym. <laughs> Find Arnold. He'll <laughs> be back. <laughs> Chase. I'm sorry, what was, what was that last? I said he'll be we're back. Not, we're not getting this sword or this helmet. Okay, so what are my exits? Uh, west, east, up, down. Ooh. Up. What would up? Climb, probably. Let's go up. Because I like that movie. You know, maybe. Tower climb. stairs. You are climbing the stairs to a tower. There is a locked door here. Exits are down. Mm. Like forced, forced door? Uh, you bust through the door. All right. You are inside a tower. Ground. A princess is here. Exits oh, are yeah. down. Oh, damn it. You know what to do. You know what to do. Talk to princess. Grab condom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's right. The princess says, there's a ghost in the basement. We just met this chick. She's already telling us what to do. I know. I mean, what a minute. Am I right? Am I right? Who was high five? You? Yeah. There you go. There's no one there. Um, <laughs> the princess does not want to give you <laughs> Let's see. Um, there's a ghost in the basement. Talk to the prince. We already talked to her, right? We already talked, we already we talked, already to, her. talked to her. Flirt with princess. She slaps you and says she is not that kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, okay. 51 knows and a yes means um, yes. Exit down. Uh, you are on the tower stairs. There's a lock door. There was a locked door here. Exit down. Down. Down and in, in. Down. Uh, okay, you're in the courtyard. There's a guard, knocked out guard here. Uh, exits are... Up, down, east, west. What, what was the other direction that you went to get us in the feasting hall? East was in the feasting hall. East. Uh, you are in a feasting hall. There is a strange candle here. Exits are west and east. Uh, east? You don't even want to look at the candle? This is the throne room of Action Castle. There is an ornate throne here. West. You sit on it. Sit on the throne. I mean, <laughs> you are in the great feasting hall. There's a strange candle here. We might Grab, need this I thing. Grab it's strange, strange candle. though. I don't you like it. You have a candle. Da, 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 da. Hey, I've been picking up all the items, all right? Get on yeah. my level. Pick up some slack. Get by. Did, did, did anything happen when we picked up the candle? You have a candle. You have a candle. Um, Is it in our light, pocket? Because that would be really awkward. Light yeah. candle? The candle gives off a strange scent, but then extinguishes itself. Mm. Curtis. Okay. Inspect candle. It is a strange candle. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> um, go to throne room. Uh, this is the throne room of Action Castle. Action There's Castle! Go throne here. Sit on throne. Uh, only a king can sit on the throne. What? Curtis. Become king. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We just beat the game. <laughs> da 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 da. Um. I mean. What the? But maybe someone was talking about a ghost. Should probably yeah, go down to the basement so we could like kill a ghost and bang that princess. Where the heck is the west? <laughs> Uh, you're in the Great Feasting Hall. Go the, the opposite exit? direction that we were... What was it, East? Did we need to I, think, I think in the first area we could go down, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, out to the courtyard. Okay, okay, we want to go out to the courtyard. Clegg! You're in the courtyard. That's Clegg, the exits are down! Down, down, down. <laughs> down, just like the French yeah, Am funny. I right? Ha 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 This is like the most perverted episode ever. You are in the dungeon. There is a spooky ghost here. Oh, that was easy. Light candle. The ghost says, no, and flies away. Uh, nice. there's A crown is there. Oh, okay, Pick up get crown. In. You have a crown. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, uh, come on now. That's like five. 
<laughs> Exit up. Uh, uh, you're in the courtyard. Up. Yep. You are in the tower stairs. Let's go into that princess's room. Hey, princess. You are in the room with the princess. I just killed a ghost. Wear crown. Only the king can wear a crown. Uh, okay, talk to princess. Oh, she's oh, not too bad. Talk, talk to princess. Um, she oh, no, says, there's a ghost in the basement. Inform her, I just killed a ghost. He said, thanks? Why do you sound confused, woman? I just killed a ghost. You know what? I did it without Bill Murray, too. You know how hard that is? Gosh, you are so ungrateful. Uh, okay. e exit uh, west. Perhaps down. maybe looking at your inventory. It's in my inventory. We have a candle. We have a stick. We have a crown. We have a stick. <laughs> what else do we have? Why don't you say inventory? Okay, Curtis, it's your turn. Inventory. Uh, you have a, a fishing pole, a stick, oh, a crown, pole. a candle, and a rose. Oh, give her oh, rose! Give Curtis. her rose! Women right, like Chase. that, right? Yeah. Yep, it's Chase's turn. Chase's turn. Give her the rose. The princess says, my hero, and marries you. <laughs> put on crown. You put on the crown. Uh, yes. Uh, d down. Uh, uh, you're in the tower stairs. Um, nice. To throne room. Uh, you... you, you <laughs> I completely, you are so robot for me right now, it's not even funny. Oh. Hold, hold you on. You guys roboting out? You, he is me. roboting out. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. You fast travel to the throne room. This is a throne room of Action Castle. There is an ornate golden throne here. Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? Clay. Yeah, I think so. Sit on throne. You sit on the throne. Suddenly, the throne room is full of noblemen and other gentlemen and gentle ladies. They are all cheering for you. Congratulations! You have beaten Action Castle. Wait, yeah! I have a I have a noise for this. I have a noise. Uh, uh, hold on. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Congratulations, guy. That was uh, Action Castle. There's actually like ten or so of these. Uh, this is actually probably the least complicated one. Right, uh, it's pretty linear, but I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. the 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 next one I think is a uh, is a, like a spooky mansion where you can actually die. Uh, <laughs> it's simple problem a, solving, right? It is. I like it. Yeah. And I think with us, it, it'll be very entertaining, to say the least. So memento mo, memento dash mori dot com. Right. If you want these and other action things, let me see. Awesome. I've got, Let's see here. Wow. Let's see. There's Return Dash, Action Castle, Spooky Manor. Uh, Return to Action Castle. Z Ward, Z Ward X, Space Station, Jungle Adventure. Uh, yeah, that's all. all right. I'm actually cool, looking. Though. I'm looking these up right now. All right. Awesome. I like that. If you want to, uh, there's another, ver there's an old version of Zork I think you can play online. Oh, yeah, yeah there's all. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Which is similar, but uh, much more complicated in some ways. In fact, there's the, the interaction fiction community is actually probably more active than ever now. It's just people don't uh, generally go for those sort of things. Yeah. yeah, we're not looking for that kind of gameplay, right? Mm -hmm. but that's fun. I like that. All right. Um, real quick, because we do not have a lot of time. I did not think this episode was going to last this long. Um, so, I said we're going to talk about bad movies. And this is what happened. We were watching the... My roommate and I saw the trailer to Mad Max, which looks very interesting. And then, one of the recommended pages was for Iron Sky 2 to be crowdfunded. Oh which, if you've never seen Iron Sky... It's awful. It is... Oh, awful. Is that, oh, my God. Have you seen the trailer for Iron Sky 2? Yes, it's amazing. It has Hitler on a T Rex talking. No, 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 no. Reptile Hitler. Reptile Hitler in the oh, center great. of Hollow Earth. Yes, with President Not Palin. And there's also Zombie Jesus. I heard. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's so. It's gonna be bad, guys. It's gonna, it's like gonna a good be time. bad. Which it which brings me to my next question. What was like? 
probably one of like the worst movies you ever watched. Oh, yeah. this is ever. Like, this is right in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Start with uh, Murphy, let's huh? start with Murphy. Oh, really? I'm, okay. I'm really no, I, I could I could literally dominate this conversation, so I kind of want to hear what other people well, have to say. So what's funny is like I like my roommate made fun of me for this. I was with this was back when um like I was with this girl I was seeing, and she's like, I really want to see a bad movie. So you go on Netflix, and we see the movie Airplane versus Volcano. Oh, I, I thought you were about to say Airplane. I was about to slap you across the internet. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it was an airplane versus volcano about a plane that like flies over like these newly formed volcanoes and it has Dean Kane in it. I'm like, oh Dean Kane, what happened to you? <laughs> Dean Kane. You used to be Superman. You must you also maybe think, hey, this could happen or not. Mm. Or just like anything, it's like you fell so hard. I mean not like well, granted, Cuba Gooding Jr. fell harder. But like yeah. what happened, Dean Kane? So I'm just like I'm looking at this thinking maybe Dean Cain can be good. No, the movie's just awful. Dean Cain mm. can't even save this. Superman can't save this movie. Mm. So there's for me, there's a very thin line. The movie has to be bad, but it can't be boring. So was yeah. Airplane vs. Volcanoes boring, or was it just bad? It was just bad in every sense of the word. Okay, so that's not good. Yeah. So... It was, like, cheesy. Mm. Like, sci-fi makes better movies than this. Oof. So, so my favorite movie is Demolition Man. Oh my god, that was an amazing movie. Yeah, it's such a it that. is such a bad movie, and it's great because it's got Dennis Leary as the leader of the rebellion, and <laughs> Taco Bell is the last <laughs> restaurant to survive the franchise wars. Such wars. <laughs> okay, go and, on. And the three seashells. The and... three seashells. Uh, uh, um, Sandra Bullock and Sylvester Stallone have sex with sex helmets. <laughs> it's what, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? Define so, sex in helmet. The future, in order to prevent like AIDS or something, they've invented sex helmets where you don't like touch each touch. other. Yeah. Okay. So they put on these sex helmet, and Sandra Bullock, who is a like from the, so the premise of the movie is Sylvester Stallone is a super cop who gets frozen for a crime he didn't commit. Um, he gets unfrozen in the future when his criminal rival also is escapes cryo jail. Wait. So this so far sounds like Judge Dredd. Are we sure we're not talking uh, about Judge Dredd? No. no, no does no, he say the word the phrase? Oh. It's pretty much just. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it has that almost has that. <laughs> so Sandra Bullock is a cop in this new world where there's no crime. Are we sure we're not or, talking like, about speed? No. Yeah. Let him finish, Chase. Let him finish. <laughs> Does she adopt a black kid? No. Uh, and then so Sylvester Stallone and like they kind of like oh we're gonna hook up because we're protagonists in a movie and like so in order to have sex they put on these like sex helmets. But you don't like touch, and it's really weird, and it's great. It is. It is a. It is if you want to watch a bad movie, it is not boring. It's just stupid, and I love it. Okay. So, are we talking about bad movies that are awful, or bad movies that are good? Because I mean, if you have bad movies, movies that are good, that's an entirely different. That's, yeah, story. that's oh, an yeah. entirely right. different story. Mine is a bad movie that's decent. What's that? I I'm gonna go with Dracula Untold. That's the one that came out. Just like two months ago, I think it was fairly recent. Oh, really? And I really wanted to like it because I like um, Luke Evans. He plays uh, Bart the Bowman in The Hobbit most recently. Um, I, I like the acting uh, from him and from everyone in it. It was it was all the, the the script was not good, and they had a lot of logic issues with the storyline and with really stupid things like there'd be a conversation between two characters and it would be daytime, and then halfway through the conversation it would be nighttime. <laughs> and then again, it would be daytime, and just like things weren't syncing up correctly. I think it, you know, just post wasn't done. It wasn't baked all the way through or something. And there were logic issues with the story, to the point of ridiculousness. Like I have to send my son away because I'm a vampire now, and I can't protect him from all these other uh, other vampires. But I can kill them all two minutes later, so it's not really a problem. It sounds almost like <laughs> shoot 'em up. Did you ever see that? Oh, oh such no. a good movie. I love. Don't a- get me wrong. I love Shoot 'Em Up. 
But no, let's face it, oh, logically, man. it is grossly awesome. flawed. Yeah, but I mean, the movie is about shooting. Yeah, people. Oh, oh. God, that carrot. Why is he eating carrots? It's for... supposed to. I, I've <sighs> heard. Granted, I've heard this. It's supposed to be a mature version of Looney Tunes. Oh yeah, that, that totally think... makes sense. That's what I've heard. I oh, I cannot just... confirm nor deny that. Mm. But it does so, make sense. That that thank you for reminding me of that movie because I had completely forgotten about that. I no, I I worked wow. at a movie theater in Melbourne when that movie came out, and I remember I was behind the concession stand, and this elderly gentleman who is like who probably was in his seventies just came out and go, that movie's unrealistic. Took his ticket and slammed it and just walked out. Oh jeez. Wow. Like he was yeah, that see, a, angry. A, a movie doesn't need to be you know, realistic or logical necessarily, but it needs to follow the rules it's defining within its own little movie universe. Don't tell it's a horror movie, because they always seem to ruin logic. Well, that's... And that's, so, that's when it bothers me, when so they don't follow their the, own rules. The stereotypical uh, answer to that is, have you guys heard of Troll 2? Yes, oh, I've God. seen Troll 2. I've watched right. the documentary that, for Troll 2. I that is seen Troll actually hilarious yeah it's great that. you know what so what do you think the monster in troll 2 is it's i know the answer to this clay <laughs> troll no it's it's not trolls yeah it's, not trolls. it's, it's, not it's trolls. goblins it's goblins, it's goblins. It's goblins. It's not, not assholes on the internet okay nope oh my favorite part yeah. is that corn scene yeah. the scene where they're making out with a piece of corn on the cob in between them and then it's like popping like popcorn for some <laughs> random reason no you need to watch the documentary for it because the documentary is cool documentary too. it's called best worst movie and it's really cool but it's also like really depressing at the same time because you have this one guy who wanted to be an actor and he's like loving all this popularity but then you see like what some of the other people have become like the guy that plays yeah. the grandfather like it has like this really sad moment where he's like, "Yeah, I don't have any grandchildren or anything. I just kind of just sit here and just, you know, read the paper." And it's like, "Wow, this got weird and sad quickly." And like the mother is now like like she's taking care of her mother, and like has like this weird mental disorder. And it's like it, it's just a, got weird. Yeah, it's it's Sounds a weird. Bad. Yeah, but like everything else so... is cool. But then it's like those moments are just like, uh. Yeah. It's Epidemic. I couldn't I have not gotten through the room, which is again another oh my just gosh, the room. classical. I don't think example. it's I don't think it's possible to get through the room. No. <laughs> I got I don't. I really don't. I mean it's funny, but there's a point where you're like the funny kind of wears off and you're just like why am I watching this no, movie? No, this I, is exactly like here. I'm. I don't mean to name drop. I don't want to be you know that one person that you know you and I both mm. know, Curtis, at our panel. Oh yeah, yeah okay. He, if he's watching this, you name drop so much, Deadpool. Um, <laughs> one of the the editors of Aquatic Hunger Force. I met him at the Melbourne Independent Film Festival. He works at Adult Swim, oh, nice. and he texts me and he says, "Dude, at midnight, you have to watch Adult Swim." And so I'm watching this, and I'm like, what the heck is this thing? He goes, this is probably the greatest movie ever made. And it was The Room. And it's oh, like, wow. oh, my gosh. This is just so cheesy and bad. And it's filled with, like, scenes. Like, these make-out scenes where, like, they literally cover up. Like, here's this. Like, this is the actual screen. They cover up, like, this much of it. <laughs> like, this whole area is covered. For those of you listening, you have no idea what to talk about. I'm covering up majority of my screen. Yeah, it's he's maybe, like, nine-tenths are visible. Yeah. It's like, good lord, <laughs> this is like, hey, I want to make a movie, slash porno. It's, yeah. oh, it's I, I got in like 10 minutes, and I it's one of my things that I need to get in there and like watch with a group and like do the riff, riff tracks yeah. on. But, I, man. I God, it's... I, we do, you know, I, I do that talk with sometimes about... with like the horror movies like Hatchet. Well, not, not Hatchet necessarily, but like bad horror movies. Hmm. Well, it's easy to get in it with old. I want to talk about one that actually just made me physically angry. Um, oh, the Last good. Airbender. Oh, oh my God! Why did I think of that one? Oh, you're right. I for a second Light I thought you were going to go silent. Right it over. is bad to the point where I literally cannot watch that movie. Mm. It's it's poorly written. It's poorly acted. It's poorly directed. Mm. I think there are very few redeeming qualities to that movie. It's basically as if 
M. Night Shyamalan walked into a kindergarten and said, you, 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 and you, you're going to be in a movie. <laughs> and don't look at the source material. Mm. And and mispronounce the main character's name throughout uh, the entire movie. His name is Ang, right? Yeah, yes. and they're like, no, his name is Ong. Yes. <sighs> okay. So, I think that if you want to make me angry, you'll bring up Contact. Because that movie oh. is a piece of shit. And I know some people like it. And I've I, never seen it. It's, it's something I it's get irrationally angry at. Uh, but also the probably, but the worst movie I've ever seen is Alexander. No, Jared Leto's in that movie. Oh, with, um, with, uh, Colin Farrell? Yeah. yeah that, okay. that movie is bad. I think, I'm trying to think of the, like one of the few movies that like pissed me off. I know the fog pissed me off a lot. Dark water pissed me off a lot, but I think the one, I just mentioned it when Curtis and I, saw Silent Hill in theaters. Oh, God. And, like, it's funny, like, first half, this is actually a remotely decent movie. And then, the last half, where the wires go up the JJ, then oh. it's just like, oh, yes, yeah, spoiler oh. alert, barbed wire That's... goes up a JJ. I, I don't think you can call that a spoiler. I... Yeah. Sorry. It, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna point out, like, it was a sp- That yeah. movie, like, it wasn't scary, it was just, it was like torture porn. That's what it was. I mean, and it wasn't even, like, terrifying. Like, there's a scene where a guy rips somebody's skin off. Oh, yeah, pyramid. Literally. Man. And there's, like, no terrifying nature. He literally just grabs someone and is like, your skin's gone. That was gone. more like a shock moment. That, that, I will admit that that made the <sighs> entire theater go, oh, crap! And that's what we discovered. Yeah, that's just you. nasty. It's just, there's no point to it. I, I would say it's At nasty, some point, but I've seen all the Saw movies. So, I, I mean, I mean I'm but, Honestly, what the heck even happened in that movie? Like, there was a plot in the first half, and then all of a sudden it's like, ah! It became, like, uh, so violent. It's so grotesque. It's like... But it didn't... It just didn't make any sense at a certain point. Yeah. Ooh. I'm trying to think of, like, other movies that, like, royally... Pit- or, like, just, like, any, like, memorable bad movies. Bad movies. So, let, me, let me tell you about... Oh, no, go ahead, Murph. Go no, I was going to say, I was going to... I was going to drag this into video games once again, but... So, who has seen Doom? I've seen because Doom. Because... Oh. So many bad movies, so many video game movies are bad movies. Mario. And, Mario. And, oh, God, Mar- I own Mario <laughs> on DVD. I, I do. You know what? The it's still thing, amusing, I, I like Mario just because of my childhood, and that's about it. Shut street up, dog! Fighter. Talk about Street Fighter if we want to go bad. I never like, saw Street Fighter. Was, oh, my God. Uh, the only good part is, uh, what is his name, Rod Julia? Is that, is that how you pronounce his name? I think so. Guy played M. Bison. He just like is going it crazy on film because he's enjoying it. So interesting. I I thought Doom, he's a, he's I thought he's a guy Street like Gomez. I mean, Street Fighter did give us the line for me for well, for for you. It was the day that I destroyed your village. For me, it was Tuesday. Yes. Like come okay, on. that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Like we, it, that's the one thing we get out of Street Fighter. Well, the main bad guy was Gomez from Adam's family. So I mean. Yeah. Okay, it was just awesome. Yeah, I was gonna mention. Um, I was gonna talk about Doom. Like, I feel like if it wasn't called Doom, it would have been maybe better. But the fact that it, oh, I, I use that term maybe very loosely. Cut out the entire first-person shooter. Yeah, part. cut out that part. Oh, have you guys seen? Um, this is an Uwe Bowl, so I think it's kind of cheating. Far Cry. Uh, yeah, no. Uh. In the name of the king, I'm just gonna t- start guessing. No, uh, Blood Rain. No. Blood Rain 2. No. Um, Postal. Oh, I was going to say that. Oh, I mean, also terrible. But uh, the one I was going for was uh, House of the Dead. Where, oh, yeah. So at random points, like when I say random points, I mean random non-contextual points. He inserts footage of the arcade game into the movie, but not in sense like like – where it would make sense. So, like, they could be, like, running from zombies in a forest, and then he'll show the sewer level. <laughs> and on top of that, he didn't even okay. bother to, like, get actual gameplay footage. You can still see the insert coin uh, flashing. <sighs> no! I don't... The man, it's been years since I've seen this. But okay. are you serious? Yes. Oh, that's right. I think my friend mentioned this, actually. It's just coming back to me. If you look on the Goofs page on IMDb, it's at least a good three pages. 
Let's find out. I mean, it's you would just copy and paste the script. <laughs> Save <laughs> wow. some time. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. I, and the thing is, I can I can forgive you, Abel, because he's clearly he's just he's trolling or something. He's not trying to make a bad or he is trying to make a bad movie, but he knows what he's doing. Like at this point, he's doing it on purpose. Right. The only reason it. I watched Far Cry was because Till Schweiger's in it, and this was right after I watched Inglorious Bastards. He was he um Hugo it. Stiglitz. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I have to watch this. It was just watch a. Co- why don't you just watch some German movies? He has a lot of really good German movies. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he is German. He is so. German, yeah. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a German action guy. He has I, think, has... I think I heard once it, the reason that he makes these movies is because there's some kind of tax thing he can do and, like, write them off entirely. Oh, yeah. Apparently, like, the country... I heard some... This is this also could be completely wrong. The country of Germany, like, I guess, like, a good amount of the people help pay for his movies... I, well, I mean, I think they they might have. Does Germany have like a guaranteed minimum income or I something like that? I have no idea. Let me see. Hold I on. don't know. Let's get you know, not video game for a second. Let's talk about Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Uh, Ramstein. Let's see. Ooh, like apparently, one of the members of Ramstein also created another band called Emigrate, and he speaks English, and it threw me for a loop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's already weird when Ramstein says we are living in America. It's like, whoa, this is English. I am not ready for this. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh! I can't believe we're actually looking this up. Yep. This is the kind of episode we're having today. Yeah, no, this is. I like it. I like this unorganized uh, episode, full of swearing. Yeah. And... So yeah, apparently, so Germany does have like like a guaranteed minimum income. So, like, you could just not, uh, you can, you know, so you, you are guaranteed to make, an, um, like, enough to live. So, you know, Iwi Bull can just make a movie, it'll be awful, but, like, he still can eat. <laughs> Apparently, like, okay. he's a professional boxer, and he challenges reviewers that berate his movies to fight he's him. not a... I don't think he's a professional boxer. I mean, well, he's not like okay, not professional. <laughs> he's a trained he's a boxer, trained boxer. I think it's the correct phrase. If and I, I heard, mean, he also this got isn't the... really the the conversation we're having. But even if he can afford financially to make shit movies and still, you know, eat, eventually, if he keeps doing that, people aren't going to want to hire him because he's not going to be making any profit. That's because they can get right? the. They can get the movie rights for cheap because nobody wants to make those movies. Hideo Kojima I mean, has other than... a restraining order on the rights of Metal Gear Solid from him. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that uh, they he was trying to get the rights to Warcraft, and there was a huge like sui <sighs> sue fest with that. That's a movie I'm looking I could, forward to. I could picture like almost in a similar way <laughs> that like everybody freaked out because of Peter Jackson with Halo. I could picture them freaking out about Warcraft. That was so dumb. Just give. They should have just given it to him. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, yeah. the guy who it, he, they were like, "Oh, Peter Jackson's going to make Halo." No, Peter Jackson was not going to make Halo. It was the guy who made District Nine. Yeah, I forget. Oh, what that would have been good. That would have been. Yeah, and then they were like, he was like, they were working on it and everything, and then they're like, "No, we don't want to do it." And so Peter Jackson's like, "Oh, here's some money. Go make a movie." He makes District Nine. And you're like, yeah. why did you just give him the money? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we got District Nine out of it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, which so, is a great movie. But yeah, so I mean, it's Elysium. not a loss. Elysium, Elysium not so good. I never saw Elysium. Yeah, it was okay. It was, it was okay. okay. I, it was not as good as District Nine. I right? mean, it's it's the the classic problem is when well, this is way off topic, but you give a director, you know, a director works within limits. There's creativity. He does something cool. You give him an unlimited budget or essentially unlimited budget, and he just it goes to crap. But his next movie actually looks fantastic. Chappie? He's doing... Yeah, Chappie yeah. looks fantastic. Chappie does look good. Chappie. Chappie looks it's, very uh, interesting. What? It's kind of like... Yeah, there, there was a... It kind of looks a little bit like Wally, maybe, where they like... Oh, no. Here's exactly what it reminds me of, and this is going to date me. Uh, do you guys remember uh, Short Circuit? Oh, I remember God. it. I never Jesus. saw it. It was about a military robot that gets struck by lightning and becomes sentient. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's it's pretty it's 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 eighties. It is eighties yeah. as F. 
Yes, it is. And that reminds me a lot of Short Circuits. So it looks pretty good. It's got a really solid thing going for it. I think it's going to be way better than Elysium was. Mm. So Animated? or No, it's going to be very... It, uh, the robot is going to be completely CG, but everyone else is going to be real people, pretty much. Interesting. And it's going to be about, you know, what's alive, basically. And, right. it, of course, battles and such like that, because people are trying to kill it because it's AI. Yeah. Sure. So. And no one liked that movie for some reason. No. Yeah. Oh, that's another bad movie. I never saw it, but I heard not a lot of people liked it. That's another one Is where near the end, you're like. He says, Your he, dog his dog's like barking like crazy. Okay. He Thumbs up. That means the dog is fine. Yes. Dog's just being a dog. Probably saw a cat and he's like, I'm going to chase it and then be loud. Roof, roof, roof. Yes. That's a fairly just accurate like representation. I should win an Oscar for that. Think about that academy next time. Also, for hosting purposes. Let's face it, James Franco was awful. Get me in. Isn't that two years ago? That was two years ago. Three years ago. That was quite a while ago, buddy. He still was awful. It doesn't make him less awful. I think it's Neil Patrick Harris this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I I believe that's right. He was good in Gone Girl. Creepy as heck. He was. It's weird, like, this... I. The fact that, like... He can pull off such like a womanizing character, and be gay, and it's like, you are really skilled at this, sir. Acting, you know. Acting. Yeah. Yeah. Acting. He is America's best actor. He outacted Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh Lord. All right. Oh, on Lord. that note, thank you all mm. very much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and also feel free to ask us a question. We might actually answer it on the show. Feel free to also follow me on Twitter at Chase Bunker and our actual show Twitter that underscore game underscore show because that game show was taken by some idiot who had a Justin TV account and has not even put a single thing on that th- on that account. Pissed me off. I did research. I was angry. I was very oh. angry. Um, Murph. Well, you see, I was able to get at Dork Knight Show. Yeah. So that's my Twitter. When's, um, follow him on Twitter at Dork Knight Show. When, uh, where can they hear Dork Knight besides iTunes? Uh, iTunes, Dork Knight Show, Facebook.com slash Dork Knight Show. Just Google it. Facebook.com slash that new show show. Um, and oh, hey, hey, if you want to check out Astronaut Nobaka, my Mars dating sim, it is itch.io slash Locky Murph, L O C K E M U R P H. And if you do that, let us know what gender you go with. Uh, I'm curious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's also some other, uh, like, uh, Existential Bird, uh, my entry into the Flappy Bird Jam, where uh, instead of, you know, flapping, you think. Okay. I think you're asking a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of that people is there. Very interesting. Well, no, I mean, you click to think. You don't actually have to think. <laughs> oh, and then do you okay. Get, do you get crushed by the like, while you're thinking? I mean, you're crushed by the existential uh, ennui of life. The weight of your thoughts. <laughs> this is making my head hurt. <laughs> available, uh, available in HTML5. All right. Um, no show next week because I'm going to be working. Uh, have Christmas. a very safe holiday. Happy. Uh, have a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Um, I don't know any other holidays. Boxing Day, if you're Canadian. (laughs) So, for Curtis Coe, Murph Murphy, and Daniel Clegg, I am Chase Bunker. We will talk to you guys next time. I will hopefully have a better intro and not burp next time. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Bye.